good one. Motula. Splitter. And the croc. You ready, big croc? Puppy day out. All right, y'all, today we're heading out and we're gonna go try to catch this big boar hog that almost killed another hunter's dogs. Um, another hunter was out in the area running his dogs. They got on this big hog and the hog actually slit his main dog's throat and um, almost killed it. So um, after we got the dog, all fixed up, got its throat uh, stapled shut and stopped the bleeding. We um, quickly wanted to get out there, find this hog and uh, get him out the woods. Oh, Riding with old go-kart Ricky, you better be ready to get smacked in the face with a few tree branches, son. It's just a part of it. Pups are getting their buggy legs today. Not the best day for me to have the puppies with me, but hey, we, we had them with us before we got the phone call and um, what better experience for them than, than catching a monster. Um, I got Tula, Croc, and Split with me. They're actually puppies uh, from Go-Kart Ricky's bloodline. He kept half the litter, I kept the other half of the litter, and uh, we're both very excited to see what these dogs do today. Oh God, son. <laughs> there we go. So when we let our dogs down, they were off on a mission. And, uh, they actually ended up spooking a deer. Um, nice little buck and uh, always cool to see. Deer, the deer, the deer, the buck. Pretty good buck too. Right behind me. Under that cypress. God damn. There he is, you see him? We are running the sons of bitches. <laughs> it's a good one. Most of the time when me and Rick hunt together, we're out on foot um, on one of my contracted jobs. And uh, you know, we could be walking 10 miles out and in the swamp, following these dogs around, catching hogs, and um, it can be a little brutal. Out on the buggy, it's not necessarily any easier. Um, it's a lot less walking, but sometimes that buggy can beat you up because you're going through thick vegetation, crushing palmettos, hitting trees, especially with old go-kart Ricky driving. We got a couple dogs barking now. And um, you know, it's a different way of hunting. I like both styles. Uh, this way you can kind of tote more dogs around with you and uh, they don't get as wore out as quickly. Now this area we are hunting today is a big vast area so they may stretch out from us and they may get a little exhausted. But the swamp buggy really helps us to stay on top of them, get to them quicker and um, honestly probably a way I prefer versus going on foot. But, um, you know, most of my work is on foot and it's just a part of it. We're on a fucking hot track. Oh, yeah, they got a hold of something. <laughs>
Pretty good one. I decided just to put Croc down. Um, he's kind of my highest prospect right now. I want to see what he's going to do, and I don't want to have too many puppies down at once. Um, in case we get on a race, I don't want to have to worry about, you know, finding them and grabbing them, getting them back on the buggy. But mainly, I don't want three puppies on the ground because there's a higher chance for three puppies together to start playing and messing around. And we're out here trying to do work. When you get one puppy on the ground with the adults, they kind of stay more focused and um, work a little bit better. Sir. Come on, Croc. Let's go split. Come on, Tula. All in all, it was a great day out in the woods. We were able to get this big dangerous boar hog, get some revenge for these hunters' dogs, and um, remove an invasive species out the ecosystem. And on top of it, we got the new puppy some experience and um, you know we can't complain about that. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Oh puppies. Come on. Oh crook. Come on, Tula. Let's get you all fed.